everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this beautiful spider web wrap. This is so much fun to make. It is so super simple. We are using double crochets all throughout this whole pattern and then we're going to do surface crochet to make these lines, making it a spider web design. Now you don't have to make these lines to make the spider web design. You can just have a striped nice um, shawl in these two colors or in any colors that you want it is so easy to make and so much fun and you can make it any striped color that you want and if you want to add the uh, spider web design you can continue with the surface crochet and make the lines to make the spider web look um, so I'll get into the supplies we need and then I'll get into we can make this piece. It's so easy you guys. I can't wait. So to start out, big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn today. We are using two different yarns and I actually ran out of the black colored yarn so I'm using one of my other colors um, for the Chic Sheep yarn. I'm using, this is the main color or this is the main yarn that we're using. This isn't the same color. Um, so big thank you to Marley Bird and Red Heart Yarns for the Chic Sheep yarn. The main color is called Stiletto, okay? It's just this black colored um, yarn that is the Chic Sheep. And that is, um, we are using four balls total, okay? So these balls come in 186 yards and I used four of these total and I, I ran out. I don't even have any more <laughs> to even show you the color in the ball of yarn. Um, so uh, in this intro, so I used it all in this pattern. So you'll need four balls of this, okay? You can use any worsted weight, medium sized, um, or even a double knitting style of yarn uh, or any type of yarn really any even an Aran yarn would work you can use any size yarn in this pattern because it is so easy and you can do it's a repeat pattern so you can do as many rows as you want and then the second color I'm using is this Huga Charm yarn and this has sparkles in it it is so super fabulous and you don't even need a half a skein you probably need like um I would say a hundred yards maximum like you don't even need a whole lot because we're only doing what is it seven rows six rows of the of that um, this uh, accent color so we're only doing the six rows of that and then the outline obviously in the surface surface crochet is in this Huga charm um, yarn this color this off-white color is called starlight um, that is the off-white color but there's so many different colors that you can choose from and they're all sparkly and pretty so I really love this super soft yarn but these are both worsted weight yarns size 4 medium so you can use um, you know both of the same type of yarn or both different types of yarn I'm using the Chic Sheep and the Huga Charm uh, but you can use the same fibers or different fibers really up to you and I'm going to be crocheting with a J sized hook, which is six millimeters. This fancy hook is from the Etsy shop, would be fancy, and you can get that on Etsy. I will link this in the description of this video because I get a lot of questions about these hooks. They are hand carved, they are ergonomic, there are, these are fixed in there, so you can choose the size hook you want. You can pick your favorite hook, you can get a set of hooks, and um, they're ergonomic, so they're really nice um, and curved to your palm of your hand so if you have arthritis or just crochet for a long period of time these are really comfortable and there's international shipping and there's left-handed crochet hooks available as well and then so look for that link in the description of this video <laughs> for these hooks and for this yarn also a yarn needle and a scissors are just good to have just to cut your yarn and sew in ends and things like that so just those have those handy as well so this crocheted uh, wrap is um, very large obviously you can see it's um, covering my whole table here um, but you can see that it is um, a repeat pattern so it's all throughout however big you want to make it I just did 36 rows but you can make it even bigger if you wanted to make um, you know something to cover your couch with or a big blanket or something you can continue on the pattern So I actually don't have the measurement and I probably should measure this. I'll put that in the notes section of the pattern <laughs> So that is all big. Thank you to Red Heart Yarns here for providing the yarn for this project Big thank you to my dad behind my shoulder for videotaping this editing this and taking all the fabulous photos for this crocheted project and big thank you to you for watching hit that subscribe button and now we'll get started and make this spider web wrap 
Let's start out with the black yarn and make a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down and then pull your long end through and pull tight. Insert your hook and we can start. So let's start out by chaining three. So yarn over and pull through one, whoops, two, and three. And in the third chain from the hook, we are going to make our series of stitches. So we are going to put double crochets in there. And to start out, we're going to put three double crochets. So yarn over, go into that very first chain way over here, then yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops. And that is a double crochet. Now this part right here, this little two chains <laughs> section right here, that does not count as anything, okay? So we're gonna ignore that. So put another double crochet, yarn over, go into the same chain, yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And again, another double crochet in there. Now we're going to chain two, so yarn over and pull through one and two. And we're going to pick, we're going to put three more double crochets into that same chain that we were working in. So yarn over, go into that same chain and make your double crochets. We're going to do three more in there. So one, two, and three. Then chain two again, one and two. And we're going to continue to put three double crochets in here and then chain two. So we have five total groupings of these three double crochets. So again, three more double crochets in here. One, two, and three. Okay, then chain two, one, two. If you have to scoot them over a little bit, you can. And then get your th three more double crochets in that same chain. And you'll see that it does stretch out a little bit like this. It's stretching out. So you can get all of your stitches in there. So three more double crochets. So let's see how many I have here. One, two, three, four. So chain two, one and two. And one more grouping in that same chain. So one, two, and three. Okay, so that you should have five total groupings of this uh, three double crochet groupings with chain twos in between each grouping. And that was row one, super simple. Now later on we'll take this straggler here and we will sew this closed so there won't be a big giant circle there. So going on to row two, we are going to chain up two, one and two, turn our work around. Now that chain up two does not count as anything. And in the very first stitch, we are going to put two double crochets. So yarn over, go into this very first stitch here, put two double crochets in there. One and two. Then in the next two stitches, we're just going to put one double crochet. One and one. And now in the chain two space right here, we are going to put a double crochet then we're going to chain two, one and two, and put another double crochet in there. Just like that. So it's double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. And that's for all the chain two spaces from here on out. Now in the next three stitches, we are just gonna put one double crochet in each one of those. So one, one, and one. And now we're at the next chain two space right here. We are going to put a double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet in there. Okay, so just repeat now across the rest of this way. We're just gonna double crochet in each stitch. Now I know that we put two double crochets in the very first stitch. We are going to put two double crochets in the very last stitch as well. But every stitch in between here, we're just gonna put one double crochet. And in the chain two spaces, we are putting two, uh, sorry, one double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet in the chain two spaces. 
Okay, so then I just have two more groupings here. I'm just going to put a double crochet. Actually, you can just continue watching. <laughs> I'll go quick, pretty quick here. Double crochet in each of these three stitches. Then in the chain two space right here, put a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. Now there should be three stitches left here. Remember this chain two right here doesn't count as anything, so just ignore that. So just look at the three stitches right here. We're going to double crochet in this next one, then double crochet in this one here. And in the very last stitch, we are going to put two double crochets in that one. So one and two. Okay, the first and last stitch of every row gets two double crochets. Okay, just like that. And that's what your work should look like now. So again, we're going to sew this center closed later, but you can start to see the chain two spaces. Okay, making this uh, look good. So now we're gonna chain up two and repeat the last row. Turn your work around, put two double crochets in the first and the last stitch, double crochet into each stitch in between, and in the chain two spaces, put a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet in the chain two spaces. So do that until, I, I'm going to do that until I finish row five. When I'm finished with row five, so I'm on row three right now, and when I'm finished with row five, we're just repeating row two basically, um, after row five, for row six, I want to change color. So I will come back on camera after row five and we'll go on to row six together just finish um, rows three four and five using this black yarn and we are going to just repeat row two until then all right when you're finishing row five and you're putting your two double crochets into the last stitch here we're not going to finish the last double crochet we're going to go in and pull through and then we're going to yarn over and just pull through two loops on the hook, okay? But leave those last two loops, like you would yarn over and pull through both of those to finish off the double crochet, but don't finish off the double crochet. Leave those two loops on your hook. We're going to change color. Now, if you don't want to change color and you want to make your shawl one s solid color and not do the spider web design, um, you can just finish off your stitch and just keep repeating these rows until your piece gets as big as you want it to be. But I want to change color on the sixth row here. So I'm going to hook on my new yarn, which is uh, Huga Charm in Starlight. I'm not sure if you can see very well. This yarn has sparkles in it. It's all sparkly. Yeah. So like metallic almost. So we're going to be using that for a little bit of sparkle and for the white lines of the spider web. So hook on that new color and pull it through those two loops on your hook to finish that off. And now we can drop the old color and the straggler here. And we're going to chain up two. Okay, turn the work around. And just repeat that last row, your last rows then. So two double crochets in the first stitch, one and two. Okay, that chain up two doesn't count as anything. And then double crochet in all the stitches. And in the chain two spaces, put a double crochet, then chain one, and then another double crochet in the chain two spaces. And then in the very last stitch, we're going to put two double crochets, but after this row, because we just want one row of white, we are going to change color back to black. So I'm going to finish off this row, and then I'll show you to get back onto the black yarn, and then we'll do the repeat, and we'll be set to go on making our shawl as big as we want it to be. All right, just wait, I showed you for the last round or the last row, this is the same uh, concept. We're going to change back to the black yarn, so don't completely finish your last double crochet. Make sure you do put two double crochets into that stitch, but on your last one, leave those two loops on your hook and grab your black yarn again. Mine's all tangled. Hang on just a second, I'm sorry. Let me find the end of this ball here. There we go. Okay, so grab your black yarn and pull it through those two loops to finish that off. Then drop the old color and the straggler and just chain up two, 
and just repeat by putting two double crochets in the first stitch, make sure to put two double crochets in the last stitch, double crochet in each stitch in between, and in the chain two spaces put a double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet. And that's the row, that's the repeat. So as you can see, I'm going to pause here for a second and show you, uh, this is what your piece should look like, start to look like, um, you can see on the corners, that's where the lines are going to be later for the spider web design. Now every, so you're going to do five rows of black, and then the sixth row is going to be the white. Okay, so now I'm going to do five more rows of this black, and then another, a row of white. And I'll come back and I'll show you exactly, but we're just repeating that concept all the way through however many rows you want to do, and I'll come back and let you know how many rows I did. And also I wanted to mention, um, at the end of each row, when we um, change color and everything, or not each row, but every sixth row when we are changing color for the sixth row, um, we want to cut those strands and then tie them in a knot, okay, just like this. Okay, and then we'll sew those in later. Okay, and we'll sew this in too. And you want to just grab your yarn needle, and I'll show you how to sew in here. We're just going to yarn our needle, and then we're going to go underneath the stitches of the corresponding color. So black will be sewed into the black stitches, and white will be sewed into the white stitches. And that's all. Okay, but for this very first round here, we want to cinch it closed, so you want to pull tight, just like that, and that closed that big um, circle in the center. Okay, and once that completely is closed, then you can cut any extra that you have. So that is the what it should look like though, so um, at every sixth row should turn into the uh, starlight, or the, the whiter color and then five rows of the black, then a white row, then five rows of black, and then a white row. So I'm going to do that all the way until this piece is as big as I want it to be, and then I will come back and we'll go on to the next step together. All right, welcome back. I just finished row 36 now. You want to end your piece on a row with the white yarn, okay? You want to end with the white yarn. And I'm going to just chain one and then cut this yarn and then pull this through. Just like that. Okay, so I'm finished. I've finished row 36. This is what it should look like at this point. Make sure to weave in your ends as you go. I know it does not look like a spider web yet. And I've got all kinds of cat hair <laughs> on this piece. But this is what it looks like so far. Now, at this point, I mean, if you wanted to do this in different colors, like not the black and white, but you could do it in, um, you know, green and red for Christmas, or um, even pinks and greens, or pinks and purples, or something, different colors, you can end it here and just have your shawl, and have it just a striped shawl, and that's really pretty. But I do want to have um, the spider web design with the black and white. So what I am going to do is come through here, through the center, through the beginning center right here, and we are going to make lines where our chain two spaces are. So right here, right here, okay, there's five of them, right here, or there should be four actually, one, two, three, and four, yep. So four lines total, and what we're going to do is surface crochet. So we're going to grab the white yarn, I have this um, same, this is a scrap piece, I don't know what that's from. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have the white yarn. Every time I try to grab my yarn, it's always tangled. There we go. And we're going to go right into this center here. Okay. And we're going to pick it up from the back. So just pull it through on your hook. Just like that. And then what we're going to do is just choose a chain two section, like a chain two line. So I'm just going to go right into this one right here, okay? And we're just going to go into this very first chain two space right here. And we're going to hook on the yarn from the back and pull it through, okay? Just like that. And do it very loosely, okay? So I'm going to pull through some yarn, go into the next chain two section of the next row, go back to the back and pull 
it up and pull through. Okay, then pull some yarn through, go to the next chain two space right here, next row, yarn over and pull through from the back and pull it through. And this is considered surface crocheting. Going to the next row, into the chain two space, yarn over from the back and pull it through. And then just extend a little bit, going to the next one. And you don't want to pull these too tight because these won't stretch, okay? So they're not going to stretch at all, but we're just creating the line, okay? Now, if you didn't want to do surface crochet, you could just sew it, sew down some lines, or you could chain and then sew the chain down. It's really up to you. But I just am going to just surface crochet because it's already attached, and it's saving so much time. So we're just going to go all the way through. You can see I'm going to the next row here, going in, yarning over to the back, pulling it through, pulling, going to the next row. Okay, and we're just doing these in the chain two spaces. Just like that. And I'm going to go all the way down, and then when I get to the very last row, I will come back, I'll show you how to fasten this off, and then we'll go on to doing the next one. All right, when you come up to the end here, the very last row, we're going to pull this through, and then we're going to come to the outside outside, and then yarn over and pull that through. Okay? Then cut your yarn and then pull that all the way through and then pull that tight, okay? Grab your yarn needle, I'm actually going to cut this shorter, there we go. So then grab your yarn needle and we're going to sew in that end right away. Okay, we're just going to go from the back around, okay, and just kind of keep wrapping it around. and then you can come back through and then cut any extra okay and there it is okay so now what I need you to do I did the rest off camera but you have to do the same exact thing for the other three sections okay so go to the center here slip stitch into each chain two space all the way down and then fasten off at the end here and sew in that end. I did not sew in these ends right here yet at the center because I will in just a minute we're gonna do all four of them okay right there and right there okay all four of these first and then weave in the ends at the very end of these little corners here okay and once you have that done okay we are going to take these in the back here this is coming together so nicely we're gonna take two and two just like this and tie those in a knot behind everything okay don't pull too tight on that knot because it will pull these slip stitches here okay and then we'll be able to sew that in later but what a last thing I want to do right now is go to make it on the right side here we're looking at the right side of our work the outside and we're gonna start in this corner right here and we're gonna single crochet along the edge here in the white color Okay, just to make the edge clean and have a white edge here. So we're going to start in this corner right here. Yarn over, pull through with the yarn to attach it. We're going to chain one and single crochet into that same spot. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And we're just going to single crochet across the edge here. Now there's really no right or wrong spot to go in. So basically where your hook fits, just insert it. Then yarn over and pull through. Okay, you can see I'm working over this straggler too here. And then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, hop to where it fits, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, go into where it fits, yarn over, pull through yarn over, pull through two. And I'm crocheting over this straggler so I don't have to sew it in later, but if you want to just sew, uh, crochet across and you can sew that in later if you want to, if you don't crochet over the top of it. Um, but I'm just trying to find a spot where my hook fits. There we go. 
yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and just single crochet all the way across, across here, across to the middle. We're going to single crochet into that uh, center circle there and then across, all the way across until this edge here. So all the way across there, single crochet, and then once I'm ready to fasten that part off, I will come back and we'll go on to the next step together. All right, when you're finished here, we are going to just single crochet in this last section here. We're going to slip stitch right into that last stitch, so we yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And now we can fasten this part off. So that's the next step, just chain one, cut your yarn, pull that through, pull it tight, and grab your yarn needle, and then just weave in any ends that you have that are loose. So just go back behind the stitches and just weave in any loose ends that you may have. But that's it, that's the shawl, or the wrap, <laughs> it's done. That's it, so just sew all that in. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this shawl today. Look at how beautiful. And you can see it in the photos too. It is just super fabulous. It looks like a spider web in my, um, in my shawl here. But like I said earlier, you can make these in any color. You don't have to add these lines to make the spider web look. But I just wanted to add it and make the spider web look to this spider web wrap. So thank you so much for watching and learning to make this with me. Big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn today. Big thank you to my dad back there for filming, editing this tutorial, and taking the fabulous photos. And big thank you to you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, happy hooking!